In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to finish creating the core and cavity as shown here. So first, I'm going to control tab back to my other part. And the next step, I want to knit these surfaces together. So I'm going to go to the surface ribbon. I'm going to choose knit. And I'm just going to select the surfaces either in here or I can right click this, expand my feature tree, expand my surface bodies. And it's this third section. I want all of these knit together, the parting surface body. So I select the first one and roll my middle mouse wheel to scroll down. I'm going to hold shift and select the last one. And I'm going to let SolidWorks join all those together. So now we'll turn those into one knit surface. Just come up here. We can see it's all a knit surface. Next, I want to create an offset plane relative to the front. So I'm going to select the front plane, choose the reference menu, say plane, and I'm going to offset it three quarters below and say OK. In that plane, I want to create another surface. So I'm going to tell it I want to sketch in that plane. I'll look normal too. I'm going to create a two point rectangle. I'm just going to drag it over here, click to create it. I'll use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. So I'm going to dimension from this vertex over to this edge. I'll make it an inch and a half. And then I'll dimension again from this vertex to this edge. I'll make that two inches. And then I'll go from this vertex to this edge. And I'll make it inch and a half. And I'm just trying to get this to the maximum size or slightly larger than what I would like my mold corn cavity to be made from. And then one more time, I'm going to select down here, select that vertex, this edge, and I'll make this distance two inches. So I have a fully defined sketch. I'll exit that. I'm just going to go back to my isometric view with the sketch still highlighted. I just want to make a planar surface. So I'll say OK. I'm going to rotate around a bit. And what I want to now do is I want to knit these two surfaces together. But to do that, I'm going to use the trim. So I'm going to say trim, mutual. I want to trim these two surfaces. So I want to remove sections. So I'm going to click here in the remove sections and I'm going to rotate around. And I want to remove this surface below this planar surface and I want to remove inside here. And I'll say OK. And I've now created that surface trim. And if I go back up, it's my one surface here. And now I've created a flat planar surface that can be used for the tooling split. I have one more knit to do. So I want to knit this surface with this. And I'll just say OK. And now that I've done the surface knit, I can go ahead and I can do my tooling split. So I'm going to select this plane. I'm going to go back to the mold tools and tell it I want to make a tooling split. It's going to take me to sketch mode. I'm just going to look normal to it. And I'm going to offset this sketch. So I'm just going to expand it, select the sketch. Select offset entities and I want to offset it by an eighth of an inch. I'll reverse the direction. And the reason I'm offsetting it is because the tooling split has to be slightly smaller than the surface for it to work. So I'm going to say OK. It's fully defined. I'll exit the sketch. I'm just going to go back to the isometric view. And I want to tell it that the top block will be two and a half inches. The bottom block will be an inch. And SolidWorks didn't find the parting surface on its own. So I'm just going to expand the feature tree up here. And this surface knit, the last one I did, whoops, I'm going to right click and delete that. I need to click in the parting surface. And this surface knit that I did last will be my parting surface. So I'll say OK. And I've created the two blocks. Just scroll up. I don't need to see the surface bodies anymore. So I'm going to select it and hide them. And I have three solid bodies. And I want to separate them so they're easier to see. And as we've seen, there's two ways to do this. So I can go insert features, move body. So I'm going to use the move body. I'll select this body. I'll select the direction as the Z axis. And over here, I'll tell it to move it eight and a quarter inches. And I'll say, OK. I'll go back to the insert menu. Again, like previous one, I could have said explode view, but I'm going to stick with the move body. So I'm going to go features. I'm going to tell it to move the body. I'll select this body this time. Let's just grab that Z axis and drag it out however far I want. Again, I could also enter a value here of negative eight and a quarter or whatever I want. I'll say OK. 
and now we can see both halves of our mold and this three degree angle will help it come together and not slip apart. And I'll save my work and we'll continue from there in the next video.